Just pray to God, he'll make a way. I remember being so angry with him. I had the biggest argument with him saying, oh, do you mean that God is gonna put uh, 120,000 in my account? Do you mean that God is all of a sudden gonna, I'm gonna walk outside this door and there will be a big, a big bag with cash in it? What do you mean by God will find a way? I was so angry that day. I will never forget, I was so angry that he had the audacity to say that when I was so desperate. I wanted solutions. I didn't want myths. I didn't want hypothetical, useless work that had no meaning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm currently shooting uh, in a location that's very close to the road. So you guys might hear a bit of cars passing by. It's raining, so there isn't much natural light everywhere else in the other rooms. So please bear with me uh, with regards to that. Uh, brothers and sisters, today, I'm not sure if today's message is a testimony or just Another word of encouragement, but anyway, uh, you'll figure it out as we go. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because one of our family members, uh, a fellow subscriber who's been on this journey, I mean, Tristan pseudonym um, is the username. Sorry if I'm putting you on the spot, Tristan. Um, but I wanted to, to use this message as to share what I have to say with you so that you guys can understand something. Now, the, the, the message um, that was posted, um, you could tell that this is a person going through hardships and somebody in pain and somebody close to angry with God. And that message was saying something to the effect of how do you guys keep on pumping these messages saying that we should have hope in this God, a God who never even shows up uh, for him? I think it is. If it's a her, I'm sorry. I'm always terrible with these things. And I, I just wanted to share an experience with you guys. And before I share that experience, what I want to say to you is that you need to understand something. I can come here and share messages with you, but a relationship with our, our father, it, it's a personal relationship. If you are currently angry with God, if you are currently going through something with God, go to him and tell him, God, I am angry with you. I'm able to come and make these messages with uh, for you guys because I have gone through all those times. I have I've gone through times when I was so angry with God that I couldn't even open my mind, my mouth to pray. I have gone through years of no prayer, years when I wouldn't even utter his name out of my mouth or even turn to him through my darkest times. But what I can tell you is that those times when I felt that way, those times when I couldn't even have a relationship with him. That's where I, I say I was in limbo in my life. My life was so stagnant. There was no movement. Even though, like, I was so lost, guys. So when me, I can only speak for myself. The messages that I'm posting, I go, I post them because not only has the Lord uh, uh, put me on this journey and in this place but i am sharing them the way i'm sharing them because i know how it feels not to ho have hope and if i can give somebody just just that little bit of hope to hold on to for one more day then i have done my job uh, brothers and sisters today i want to tell you um how the lord taught me the meaning of what people always say when they say God will make a way, God will make a way. I used to hate that line. I used to hate that line. So um, you guys, uh, if you've seen my other testimony where I said that the debt was paid off. Um, so I owned like a restaurant -y business and when it was doing very, very, very bad, you know, I would wake up in the morning and it's salaries, salaries are due the next day right and you know the account is empty the business account is empty there has not been any customers and I remember I would wake up and back then um, like uh, my boyfriend I would wake up and stressed and I, I, I would just I was so angry I couldn't even pray and I, I, I you know when you are in so much pain even tears can come out 
and I remember saying, how the hell, like how, it's fine, I can't pay the, 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 the rental to the premises, fine, but I can't even pay my, the salaries, and my workers then were my life, you know, I, I went, I held on as, as far as I, and as long as I, I did, because those people meant a lot to me. I had been with them for years, and the thought of me not being able to pay them salaries broke my heart. So I would wake up a day before and I would say, Lord, no, well, I wouldn't say it. I would be thinking, I need over 100,000 by tomorrow. You know, like, how? Maybe the account has. 30,000 and I remember my boyfriend then saying just pray to God he'll make a way I remember being so angry with him I had the biggest argument with him saying oh do you mean that God is gonna put uh, 120,000 in my account do you mean that God is all of a sudden gonna I'm gonna walk outside this door and there will be a big a big bag with cash in it what do you mean by God will find a way? I was so angry that day. I will never forget. I was so angry that he had the audacity to say that when I was so desperate. I wanted solutions. I didn't want myths. I didn't want hypothetical, useless work that had no meaning. <clears throat> anyway, so what then happened is I remember telling him, narrating this, um, this, I guess it's a testimony to him later on so payday comes and I'm in the office and guys I don't have enough money I haven't even told these people you know I can stretch until the end of the day when I <laughs> guys that day the first worker would come and say they called me boss lady he said hi boss lady I want to start saving Please, do you mind giving me just what I need to pay rent and keep the money for me? Another one would come and say, ah, boss lady, you know what? I came into money. I don't need my salary right now. Do you mind holding on to it till next week? Another one would come and say, ah, boss lady, you know what? I'm planning to go on a trip back home uh, and I need to save up some money. Do you mind, you know, because I, I can't... I don't have a bank account do you mind if you keep the money and I save through you it was crazy it was so crazy and guys I there's nothing right now this happened years ago there is no way I can prove it to you if I can tell you that by the end of that day I went to sleep and I had given all the people who wanted that money the money they wanted with what I had in my account. There was nobody I had to apologize to that day. There was nobody I went to to say, I don't have money to give you. They came to me and told me that they didn't need all that money. Don't forget, these are people like cleaners, scullery, waiters, barmen. These are people who are not earning too much money. That day I went to sleep so peacefully because my heart was not heavy knowing that I didn't pay any of them. That day I didn't apologize to one person and tell them that I don't have any money to pay them. So I, I can't, I, I, I don't know if I prayed. I doubt I prayed. If I prayed that time, it was always God help me, that's all. I would just say God help me because I didn't have the words for him. Maybe my boyfriend prayed for me. But God taught me the meaning of God will find, will make a way. God taught me what he meant when he says, I will make a way. When, 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 that, that statement or that line doesn't mean that if you are being thrown out of your home, tomorrow you will necessarily have a home. Yes, you may have a home, but somebody might move out of the apartment and say I need somebody to look after my apartment because I need to go home for two months. That may mean that a company that didn't have a position 
all of a sudden has an employee who goes incapacitated and they need somebody temporary. That may mean that somebody that you owe says to you, listen, I'm not in town. How about you give, you give me that money next week? All I'm here to tell you is that when people say that God will make a way, it doesn't mean that you will get the answer in exactly the way that you are thinking. If you do not identify God in your life, you will never get to see him moving. If you do not identify the things that God is doing in your life, you will never say, this was God doing this. Look at God. I could have said that on that particular day, those employees decided to say that, just. But for me, that was God. That was my God trying to call me home. That is my God trying to show me that even when I turn my back on him, he will never forsake me. That was him just showing me that the thing that you said this morning in your bedroom, I heard you, I heard you, and I'm gonna show myself to you. Yes, you don't pray, but you're still my child. I have a son and sometimes he's naughty and sometimes he's angry at me. But do I not still make lunch for him? Do I not still put on uh, a jacket on him when I can see his cold? Even if he's freezing and he's angry and he doesn't come and say, Mommy, I'm cold. I'm his mother. I will go and take a jacket and put it on him. If he is not wearing socks and it's cold, I will put on the socks no matter how disgruntled he is. That's the relationship we have with God. So all I can do is come here and try and show you the relationship I have with God because he is my father and hope and pray that whatever you are going through, my story, my testimonies, my words of hope can make you who, is, who might be the old me still stuck in the wilderness might make you want to know this father the way I know him. Might want to or, or, or feel the need to say, if that is God, then I want to know that God. So I'm here hoping and praying that I can be a light in your darkness. I'm here. I'm not perfect. I'm still a sinner. But I know the pain of being in the dark memories of those times for me still make me cry the thought of someone still in, in, in that place for me it hurts me i got out because my mother prayed for me and i can only hope you will get out that you will hear these stories and want to know my god because he is your god he is your father he wants you to know that he loves you so i just wanted to make this message to tell you that the series like don't abandon hope it's not prophetic words it's the bible that you have you have access to it maybe you've thrown out the physical one but you have a phone you can read the same bible I never had a relationship with the word but I have learned and I am still learning and every day I am seeing how much better off I am when I do my fighting and I do it with the Lord. So brothers and sisters, I don't know if this message makes sense, I don't know if it will help. But I pray that it does. I pray, I pray, Lord Jesus, I pray that this is that light. That you will want to know this God I'm talking about. That you will be curious. That your spirit will wake up in this leaping state it's in. 
that it will want to reach out and learn of this God. For me, it's not just that He is God. For me, it's the fact that He is our Father. Now that, that for me is the important thing. I want you to know your Father in heaven because He is a loving God. He is a good God. Yes, there's a waiting period for everything, but God is a good God. He's a very good God. Brothers and sisters, have a very good day. I, I hope that this message edifies you and it, and, it, and, it, and it just anchors you and it gives you hope in whatever you're going through. All this I say in the name of our loving, loving Father in heaven. Amen.